Welcome back to another Sumi Shaves mail call and unboxing video, guys. You got me and you got Sophie Son today. I grabbed some treats to keep her on her best behavior. We're very excited. Come on. And um, today, we're going to be doing a special unboxing for the Shave Olympics, guys, for Lather Games. Over on Reddit, guys, there's an ongoing contest for shavery, for shaving. It is an awesome thread, guys, full of um, people that are very, very, very passionate about the craft. And they, every year they do a challenge, right? Every year they do what they call the Lather Games. And today, guys, I've had to go and order a few things to make it so that we can compete at our fullest. And guys, today we're going to be killing it. We're going to be rocking out with some stuff. I am really excited. Check it out, guys. we got boxes galore here. Um, first and foremost, I did do a little bit of uh, uh, pre... Like, you know, just a little... Oh, no, I'm losing things here. A little pre-opening on accident here, guys. I didn't know what this was, but my buddy, my good friend Charles over at Sharpologist sent me a bunch of blades, guys, and I'm going to be using these on uh, the Wilder Games challenges, guys. I'm really excited to have some new blades to try out. He sent me the Leons, he sent me some Tigers, I think there's about 10 different blades in here um, that come from all over the world. Check it out. Bunch of different blades from all over the world, London Bridge, Menorahs. So we got some wild blades going to be uh, for the Lather Games Challenges, and I'm really excited to be using these. Um, and again, thanks to my buddy Charles for sending me the blades, man. I am so excited. Got some reviews coming. Going to be awesome. Guys, let's get some boxes open. Um, right here is just some, some something that I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys. Going to be awesome. We're going to start first and foremost with the Maggards box, guys. This is, get my hand here. From Maggers, check it out. It's the Maggers box. I'm really excited. Uh, I was missing a couple things for the Lather Games, right? Lather Games is one of those ones that is really designed to challenge people that have been in the craft for a long time, challenge us hobbyists and challenge us enthusiasts. And right here is something, you know, they, they put together the games so that we uh, have to kind of source. It's not supposed to be easy, right? It's the Lather Games, right? It's supposed to be difficult. And so I had to go and do some shopping and some searching to find a couple different things. You guys are coming with me, right? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna set this aside. Don't worry, no Subies will be harmed in the filming of this uh, shave opening. The wife is aware. She is helping me with the Lather Games, guys. She is on board, and this year we're gonna win. With your guys' help and her help and the support, we're gonna win this year, guys. Take a look. Here's what we got going on in that box, guys. Here's what we got going in the box. Oh, you see? What do you think, huh? Oh, you want another one? Huh? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come on. You say hi to everyone. Give her a, just give her a little something, guys. We're getting a little something. Give her a little something. All right. Check it out. First and foremost, one of the challenges is to use a brush that is like 21 millimeters. It has to be a brush approximately 21 millimeters or smaller on the knot. And over at Maggard, you get that, guys. They sell this right here. It's a Travel Omega. And they also challenge us to use striped bore. And I think this is a striped bore brush. I'm not positive. Let me see. I'm not really even sure how this works. It's a travel brush, guys. And I think it, you may unscrew it. Do you unscrew it? I'm not really sure. Does it pull apart? Maybe you unscrew it? I don't really know. Yeah, you unscrew it. I think. Oh, I have no clue. You just pull it. I have no idea how to get this thing out. Oh, you got to go the other way goes like this and then it goes the other way. Check it out. We got the striped bore. If anybody wants to know what striped bore is, check it out. Right there, striped bore. 21 knot travel size, guys. Travel size for the games. Specifically for the games. Woo! Right there is a challenge down, guys. Challenge down. You want to see? You, know, you smell. Don't eat the brush. You can't eat the brush. All right, second thing. Second thing up, guys. Second thing up. Um, I was I was really deficient in um, knots, guys. One of the things, one of the challenges they had, they had a lot of challenges based on knots. And we realized when we were over at Maggard's website, we were deficient on knots. So we got another knot right here. These are all going to be 26 mil. Really nice knot. It's a synthetic. And again, these are going to be going into some of the blanks that I have from Jeremy that I've needed to have brushes. So we got that brush knot for the games. We got... Let's see here. This is the 26 Brown Synthetic. Maybe I should be checking that out. I didn't really. That is the Magnot. That's the Timberworth 26 mil. That first one. And this one is the Brown. We're going to put it back in this little little home. 
This one's the brown synthetic. If you guys are over on their webpage and want to see and you're like, what do those knots look like in reality, in, in real life? Take a look. Here you go. Here's the brown knot, guys. Really nice. Very soft. Fairly dense. Brown synthetic from Maggers. Really cool. I'm very excited about this color. I like the brown. I don't own any brown knots, and I'm really excited that the wife picked that up. I think that's great. I like the color of that a lot. That's really cool. I got my brushes right here, guys. Got some brushes right here. You can throw this in and double check it fits. Oh yeah, check it out. That, that would fit really nicely. I think that's a, that'd be a cool one to throw in there, I think. Be kind of nice. Let's see, let's try one more. Let's try one more. Oh, right there's the money, man. Look at this. That would be a sick setup, guys. Look at this. So we've got some brushes that we need to set up. For sure, I'm gonna keep that, that handle out. I wanna, I'm gonna experiment with that handle tonight. Uh, I'm gonna just put this brush right in there. Set them over here. Keep on going, guys. Keep on going. We got stuff for days. Oh, it's gonna be so good. We are winning this. We are taking it down. We've got the synthetic. Again, it's a, it's a 26 synthetic knot. I don't really know. We're gonna find out. Like I said, the wife did most of the ordering because she's the one supporting and kind of coming up with some of the ideas for the concepts for the shapes. She's doing a ton of helping this year and I'm really appreciative. Check it out, guys. Look at how pretty this one is. This is the one that I've looked at like 10 times over there that I haven't purchased. It seems super dense, really soft, good backbone, but I think, I'm not positive, that that is probably how I'll set it. Take a look at this. Look how cool that sits. And look how pretty it sits in there. This is Jeremy Mountain Hair Shaving, my buddy, right here in the corner. Um, this is his handle. It's the pine cone handle, guys. I'm just absolutely trying to find that perfect fit, and I like that a lot. So far, that's the winner. I think that's a really pretty combination, but let's keep going. Let's keep it rolling. Um, we got another one. This is a 26 black and white mag, um, synthetic. I don't know. It doesn't say Timberwolf on it. it just says black and white Magnot BW26. I have no clue. It looks like another Timberwolf to me. I am not positive. It's pretty dense. Pretty nice. Yeah, that'll work. That'll do it. I think that's going to be uh, helpful. Like I said, I, I have like five or six brushes that are just empty like this and I needed some new ones. Okay, so guys, this is one I'm really excited about. This is a 7030 Boar Badger Knot from Maggards. If you guys are over there right now and you're like, I can't see it, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they sell out of these because of the lather games going on. Um, this is one of the re requirements. We all need to be able to shave with a mixed brush. We need a mixed knot, guys. And this one right here fits that requirement. They're like 26 bucks, I'm pretty sure, when we looked at them. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's I don't have a mixed knot, so I'm really excited to fill this. Oh, it adds some backbone to it, guys. We're gonna set this one over here. This adds a bunch of backbone to the, the boar, adds backbone to the badger. You wanna see? You wanna see? What do you think? Huh? Is that a friend? You can't eat it. She thinks it's an animal. She wants to share. Uh-huh. You see? <laughs> is that a keeper? Really nice brush, guys. Very dense. And I'm, I'm liking that stripe on it. And I'm really liking the coloring. I mean, it's, you can tell that looks like a very high-end, very premium knot. I like that a lot. Really cool. Let's throw it in into Jeremy's handle and see how it looks. Oh, I'm digging it. Digging it. I'd definitely run that with some loft. I think that's gonna be a brush I end up running with quite a bit of loft. There is some restrictions and requirements this year with loft. So I'm gonna to have to make sure I set some of these to meet their loft requirements. And I'll tell you guys, this year's nuts. This year's way harder than any of the years previously, which is gonna be kind of fun. It kind of, you know, been kind of a challenge. Um, toss this over there, keep it on going, keep on going. We've got the Magnot Boar. Okay, so this is one of their Boar Knot guys, and I wanted to try their Boar Knot <laughs> you love that? I wanted to try their boar knot um, for a while now. And I'm excited to see the quality of it. I like boar, guys. I am a person that loves boar. Uh, I really think boar is a sustainable, wonderful, nice, very uh, comfortable on the skin brush and knot. And I'm really excited to see how this fiber does long term. Is it comparable to Omegas or Zeniths or um, some of the uh, 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 smogs, right? Smog does one. I, I love my boar brushes, and this seems to have quite a bit of backbone. Definitely needs a um, break-in, but it doesn't have a bad smell, guys. If you guys are um, boar users, you know that usually these have a smell. 
This does not smell like a like a like a dead animal. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It doesn't smell like a dead boar. That's nice. I think that's great. It's obviously been um, treated well, and I'm excited to throw that into a into a handle. Okay, guys, that is the Maggard's box. We needed handles. We needed knots. We got them. We're ready to go. Um, we needed this little teeny tiny travel one. Absolutely ecstatic to get this, guys. Actually, because I'm going on vacation, and I always have a hard time getting a brush to go with me on vacation. Look at that. That is really cool. You guys see how this works? Take a look at this. This is fascinating to me. Got this little brush right here, like this. Very nice, very small, very cute. Kind of looks like a makeup brush. And the way it goes, it goes into the little tube thing there and then pulls through like this. Yeah, not bad. Very easy to put together. My only concern is after it's wet and bloomed and, you know, open, how easy is it going to go into there? I don't know. We're going to find out. That's cool, though. I like that. All right, let's sit it over here. I'm dropping stuff. We're going to put this back in here. And we're going to go to the big Mamba Jamba box, guys, right here. Big Mamba Jamba box. Not the, all the sense of that. So you guys don't see my, you know, all my personal information. We're going to rock this box right here, guys. Oh, you guys ready? Right here. One of the requirements this year and last year, the ongoing requirements require the use, if you want a point, of a couple different products, right? One of them is a Blackland um, or uh, Decoration Grooming Brush. Another one was use, uh, I'm trying to remember now, the... A bunch of, uh, you have decoration, you had dogwoods, um, if you had summer break, if you had one of their hand turn brushes, that counted, and so did, I, I'm trying to remember, there's one other one, but they're all brushes, and they're all high end, and they're all hard to get your hands on, and I don't have any of them. The other option is to use Blackland stuff, guys. So anything Blackland gives you a point, and so we made an order. Take a look, guys, Blackland right there, woo! Welcome to the family. Yeah, it's about time. For the last two years, I've avoided it. I've lost points because of it. This year, we're not losing points. We've got it right here, guys. We're excited. We're thrilled. Actually, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this, and we're going to set it right here. I'm very excited. I like to have some of the, some of the, you know, the, the, the I don't even know what to call it. Some of the marketing, some of their uh, advertisements out. I like that. All right, so we've got our bill of information here. Keep this and we're gonna open this up. Oh, packaging, on point guys. Packaging looks really nice, very solid. Looks really good. I'm sorry, I don't have any. She's like looking at me like, where is the food? I don't have anything. Um, okay, so it just comes right out of the box. Let's get it done. Let's see what it, oh, that looks super nice. Guys, super sweet. Take a look at that box. Woo, we're getting points guys, we're getting the points. Okay, I'm excited. Let's give this guy a whirl and see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, nilly nilly nonsense. Nilly nilly non Oh. Okay, so we've got here all the information about the Blackland Razor. You know, it, it's you know made in America and it's guaranteed and kind of to avoid chemicals on it. Understand. Makes sense. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Actually, I'm going to show you guys before I get it out. Boom! Right there, you know how we do and how we does, guys. This is the stainless steel because all you people bought the titanium ones completely out. Here is the stainless steel vector, guys. Look at that. Oh, just get a gander. Take a look. Little look ski, guys. Woo! Beautiful. Are you kidding me? Take that and go to town, man. Break me off a piece. Oh, that's nice. Really solid weight, guys. This is one of those um, razors that constantly gets recommended in the community if, if you're looking at um, artist club razors in a safety razor format, right? This is the Vector, it uses AC razor blades. The head is very, very thin. Look at the head on this, guys. Look at how thin that head is. And people say it feels kind of like a squeegee for shaving, right? It just feels like it's going against, it just pulls the hair right off nice and smooth. I'm really excited to test this out. This is kind of the quintessential Artist Club Blade Razor, guys. It's what everybody's trying to compete with or trying to compare against. And I'm really excited to finally try one out. I've never used one. It does come with a little spacer underneath, which I appreciate. Shane, if you're listening to this, I appreciate the spacer. That's a nice little additive. So you're not wearing on the base plate. Wow, they're really tight. They put that together. They assembled it really tight. If you guys have seen the Yachi, the fake, the clone, the vector clone, you guys see it's um, got that square peg. It's not circular, it's square. And the same is on the Yachi. 
kind of interesting. They don't use a circular peg. It's a square, or it's a, like a rectangle, like a little, I don't know what to call it, little peg you screw into. Really thin metal though. Like the metal on this is just so thin and like precise. Look at the head cap on this, guys. Look at how thin this is. Wow, look at this. It's almost like it's thin of a, as a blade is. Wow. The quality on that's nuts. All right, I love the. There's no machine marks on mine whatsoever. You can't see where it's like been put, you know, created. The top cap, keep in mind, I didn't get the polished version. The wife said I could do that myself if I wanted that. Um, you can see some little teeny tiny machine marks on the actual um, head cap, just little ones, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this uh, off the Subi hat cam, but they're not like, I would not call this like industrial or like, you know, it's beautiful. It really is very pretty. I love this, guys. I think that's nice. Again, you can see some little machine marks. You see the little machine marks? They do not bother me. It just shows that the razor was CNC milled, right? You can definitely see those little lines. Not a bad thing whatsoever, but definitely there. Definitely there. I know on the last time I did my uh, my um, my video with the uh, console razor, guys, everybody's like, how dare you need to mention that there's uh, machine marks on the bottom of it. Like, All right, cool. There's machine marks on the bottom of this one, but it's CNC milled. They do get rid of those with a polish, but for me, I actually don't mind the CNC marks. It just means that it was made with love and care, and I just don't, I made it with a quality machine. I am, I'm okay with that. I do like the handle a lot. The handle is very unique. The handle on this, I mean, you've all seen it, right? Every, I know I'm late to the game on this one. Everybody's seen this. Really nice, though. I, it's not knurled, but at the same time, it's got these little grooves and stuff on the inside of it. The handle's really solid. Get a, get a test wipe here. Yeah. Very, very easy to fill the gap on there and fill the head cap where it meets the bar. Very interesting. It also has like a nice slant, like the, you can see it's gonna put some slant to that blade. It's not just gonna come across as a straight blade. It's gonna actually put some slant due to the way that this is um, angled. You see how that angled on the head cap is like kind of like angled? It's gonna produce some blade torque, which I think is gonna be nice. Really cool. I didn't get the stand. I don't usually use stands, guys, and I have a couple floating around. And plus, to be really honest, I don't have kids, so this works for me. I am the kid, guys. Take a look. I think that's rad. I think that's really cool. And if we're doing lather games, we got to do it right. Take a look at this, guys. Boom. Oh, that looks good with a setup like that, right? Okay. So those are the two big boxes. Now I want to blow your mind. Come with me. I want to blow your mind. I did save what I consider to be the most unique, most interesting for the last, guys. That's right. We have the vector sitting out. And I'm still saying... This is more interesting. I'm telling you guys, for all you on the Shea pages on Facebook, you've been a part of the um, discussion probably, or you've seen my channel do a couple of little things on this, guys. Wow, this is gonna be really cool. This is the second run edition. This is the production version, production version of my good buddy Rob's um, razor. My good buddy Rob's razor. Let's check it out, guys. You ready? Oh, this is gonna be cool. I'm excited to see it. Kaboom! Up in the mug, right in this house, guys. We've got that Mars Razor production value razor. I'm really excited to see this. The holographic label, Rob, it looks really nice. I like, it's got this sh shimmer to the label, guys. I don't know if you can see this if it's on the camera well, but you guys see how it has that shimmer to it that makes, it just gives it a little bit more polish to the actual box. That's really cool. I like that and I like that it's sealed. He's actually got a uh, holographic label sealed, guys. You see that? Really nice way of using the label and showcasing the label while still protecting the packaging. I think that's awesome. This is a razor I actually demoed and showcased as a prototype, and I'm excited to see the production razor. Uh, we did go back with Rob back and forth on some updates and some changes. We all as a community recommended X, Y, and Z. We wanted to see linear blade, um, blade trays rather than having wild swings and blade exposure. Um, we, I, we offered up the idea to use injectors. Rob came up with some awesome ideas and put together a Kickstarter. And this is what is on Kickstarter right now, guys. I love the journeys up here. I think that's really cool. Uh, it, it, it talks about the razor. Um, it talks about the key to finding the best combination. Uh, it gives you some instructions. And then it says, you know, like if you have any uh, questions, you can contact him. How cool is this? 
That is a that is a box packaging right there, guys. Wow, I think that's really smart, and it's a good use of, of packaging that is recyclable. I think that's awesome. Um, you can see right here we've got all the different trays, all of the different trays going on. Really cool. Lots of little pieces. I know lots of little modular pieces, right? This is the modular adjustable razor system, the Mars. Really cool. And guys, I've got it right here in red. Right here in red. Let's get it open and take a look. I really like Rob is doing it in these um, these packages like this. Hey, don't eat that. Dude, she's eating packaging. Don't eat the packaging. Take a look at this. This is in there, that uh, maroon burgundy. It's red. That Darker red, though. It's like it's like almost like a burgundy to me. It's got kind of a darker brownish red hue to it. Really nice. Um, from the first version that I had, guys, Honestly, the quality is right up there. Very much, very similar. I do think this has a little bit less, maybe a few less little edges. It does feel a little bit more polished. Really good rendering, really good version of this razor right here. Take a look at the Mars. Really cool, I like the labels right there. Um, this is a razor that is extremely efficient on the plates, but offers lots of variability to the blade fill, at least in my previous experiences. There's more plates in here and We've got the head cap and screw. So the way this goes together, we're gonna get it out right here. And I just wanna show you guys how it looks. I'm so excited, Rob! We're rocking this out, man. I'm thrilled to be using this and to have it for the lather games, guys. I think this is gonna be an awesome razor to use during the lather games. Oh, what a cool, cool razor. Um, they do have some instructions on how to assemble this razor, um, which is kind of helpful. I know for the first time I used it, I was a little bit um, worried about assembling it. So, it did help on my first time using the razor. I'm gonna just slide this on. It is a little tight at first, but the little piece, and I'm not gonna do it on camera with you guys without the Subi hat cam angle, but the little, it just slides over that rod in the middle. Just, there's a little rod in the middle you slide it on. I like that it disassembles like this for travel or for purposes where you don't wanna get stopped. At the airport, it just makes it look obvious that it's unloaded, which I like. I don't like having to explain to TSA every time you're traveling how the razor works. This is when you just keep disassembled. They're gonna look at it and think it's like, you know, they can see there's no blade in it. Rob has updated the screw. I'm telling you the screw looks different. It looks thicker. Rob, I don't know if that is the case, but the screw looks very, very, it looks very solid. Really cool. Really, a lot of, a lot of screwing to this. A lot of uh, room on that thread. A lot of, a lot of, wow, that is a really hefty screw. That screw is solid, guys. I mean, that is, Wow, that, that really does produce quite a bit of, uh, of of torque on that head cap. You guys see that screw? Really heavy, heavy duty screw. And usually what you'd have guys with this razor is a plate in between. I don't have a plate installed, but in, in between the blade and the, the tray and the head cap that holds everything tight. Really cool. I'm super excited to show this on camera guys. What an awesome, look at this. Just take a look guys, very unique way to use um, you know, 3D printing and to really get in there. And it's not even 3D printed, right? It's This is uh, injected molded. It's a very high end, very um, technical, high engineer level um, production unit. Really cool, guys. Really, really cool. You can just see this. Oh, looks and feels premium, guys. It really does. It feels polished. And it, I think it definitely is coming across as for especially for a Kickstarter, guys, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh, what a cool, cool little guy, guys, right? Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. I hope this is interesting. I'm gonna go do some exploration with all the plates. Guys, look at all these plates. I've got some things to play around with and I'm excited to bring you guys with me for some up and coming shaves. We've got the vector, we've got some brushes and we got lather games. Guys, I don't know what else you want other than maybe some Mars. It's gonna be awesome. I will see you in my next videos. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Subi Shays out.